In today's digital world, responsive design is no longer optional. It's a must-have. With over 60% of web traffic coming from mobile devices, it's crucial to ensure your website looks and performs well on all screen sizes. Having a responsive website is all about delivering a seamless experience to every visitor, whether they are on a laptop, tablet or smartphone. Elementor provides you with every tool you need to create the seamless experience across devices. And in today's video, we are going to walk through everything you need to know about responsive design and how you can achieve perfection using Elementor's responsive design tools. By the end of this video, you will be equipped to work smarter using Elementor's robust responsive features. Let's dive in! Let's start with the why. Responsive design is key to an engaging visitor experience. Studies show that a high percentage of traffic comes from mobile devices, and many users abandon websites that aren't mobile-friendly. A poor mobile experience can really hurt a company's professional image. In addition, mobile performance plays a major role not only in how users perceive your website, but also in Google rankings, impacting your SEO scores. This includes optimizing images, minimizing file sizes, and caching elements to boost speed and smoothness. A well-optimized mobile experience isn't just nice to have, it's essential. Elementor constantly works on delivering new responsive ready kits and templates to ensure excellence in responsiveness and in your workflow efficiency for your website building process. These kits and templates are designed with responsive in mind, allowing you to quickly create and customize layouts that look great on any device. Elementor makes it easy to switch between desktop, tablet, and mobile views right from the editor top bar, as well as next to every setting that could be adjusted for mobile. But for even finer control, Elementor offers additional breakpoints. To optimize layouts for various device dimensions, go to Site Settings, select Layouts, and expand the Breakpoints tab. You can add other preset sizes and orientations to your active breakpoints and change their default sizes. This added flexibility helps ensure that every aspect of your website adapts perfectly to any screen. In Elementor, layout and size settings and changes that are made to these settings cascade down from larger to smaller screens, meaning that adjustments made on desktop will automatically apply to tablet and mobile views. However, Changes made on mobile won't affect tablet or desktop. This top-down approach helps keep your layouts organized and efficient. We often talk about pixel-perfect designs, but building fully responsive websites requires flexibility. Elementor lets you use various units like percentages, viewport width, and height, and relative font sizes to create fluid, adaptable layouts anywhere possible. You can set the container width to box 96%, ensuring that your content is centered in your page with 2% white space on the sides, regardless of the screen size. Since the percentage unit is based on the parent element, you will maintain the consistency across all devices. To create full screen hero sections, set the minimum height to 100VH. VH stands for viewport height. It is relative to the height of the screen it is displayed on, and just like that, you set a full screen container for all devices. On multi column sections on desktop, where you use your main container in row layout, you can choose to display your container in column layout on mobile. It will reorganize your content to offer a better visitor experience seamlessly. Use percentage units and paddings and margins to maintain consistent white space across all devices. And remember the hierarchy we mentioned earlier? Since the settings cascade down from larger to smaller breakpoints, when you use these units, you are only working once, ensuring a proper responsive view from the get-go. When it comes to typography, you can set different font sizes in pixels, as well as line height and letter and word spacings for different screen sizes. But we highly recommend you to consider using scalable units like EM or REM for responsive text. When you set a base font size, EM base line height and spacing scale proportionally. In this case, I set the base font size for body text to 24 pixels for desktop. 
So when I set 1.2 EM line height, it scales the line height to 28.8 pixels. And next, when I want to set a smaller font size for a smaller screen, it automatically scales the spacing in the same proportion. And when you set the font sizes for all devices while you are setting up your global fonts, you won't need to think about typography responsiveness anymore. When it comes to images on your website, size truly matters for both performance and visual quality. Large, unoptimized images can slow down your site, frustrate users and hurt your SEO rankings. To resolve this issue, use Elementor Image Optimizer to get all your performance concerns away for all image sizes while maintaining high-quality displays. The best part is, you just upload your images to the image library, the rest is taken care of for you. Elementor Image Optimizer helps you bulk convert your images to WebP and AVIF. These formats are dramatically more lightweight than JPEG or PNG, and they can maintain very high quality visuals in small file sizes, helping your website to load faster and rank higher in search results. Additionally, Elementor allows you to set different background images for both desktop, tablet, and mobile. What does it mean? Let's say you have a gorgeous background image for your hero section. But on mobile, the focus of the image is lost along with the color contrast of the text on top. The solution is you can either set a different background image that is vertical by nature, or you can still use the same image but change the display size and the position to keep your visual focal point right where you want on mobile. Another vital aspect of responsive design is making sure interactive elements like buttons and social icons are touch-friendly. Consider your audience's physical aspects like thumb size in mind and leave enough space around your buttons and links. Aim for a minimum size of 44 by 44 pixels for touch targets on mobile, such as social icons or icons used for navigation, and ensure that they are easy to tap on mobile. This improves accessibility and user experience. Elementor's floating buttons are the go-to templates for a ready solution that will help you create a mobile-friendly contact button efficiently. Last but not least, Elementor provides you with display controls under the advanced settings of each widget. This helps you to show or hide content based on the device, tailoring your layouts for desktop, tablet or mobile easily. All these features we covered in this video are available both for Elementor Core, which is a free plugin, and Elementor Pro, wherever you see this device icon. Like here or here. And that's everything you need to know about responsive design principles when building with Elementor. Start creating your website with Elementor today and ensure a seamless experience on every device. See you next time!